Hey there friends and welcome back to episode 7 of my Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough series. I'm Icon and we're still stuck uh, with the Maelstrom boys uh, in the Maelstrom boys den. So I looted this place clean <laughs> between this and the last episode and uh, I also leveled up my character a bit so I took a deep dive into the crafting area so I'm now able to craft rare items if I want to. I also uh, took the time and uh, crafted myself a sniper rifle because I like those and let's keep going shall we so more weapons well, this game is quite a loot fest alright so well Royce is still a thing, sadly. Well, that was quite expectable. Oh, and I got myself a shotgun. So, let's give him a round, heal myself up a bit. I want that uh, buddy of his down. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Ooh, that thing does a lot of damage on headshots. But uh, does this guy even have a head? I don't see any head. And his shield is really uh, a decent choice against weapons like mine. Alright. Alright, I got two uh, two shots and now they gotta make them count. Got it. Oh, it's not really doing a lot of damage here. It's blocking a lot. Let's go for the legs. Well, that works a little bit better. But, uh, well. Ah, well. It does deal a little bit of damage. Consider it very hard to uh, actually hit his head. So, it's around 2% of his HP per. Uh, uh, this guy is uh, defending his head quite well with, uh, with that shield. I like that. So. Um, what I'd need is some uh, rifle ammo. Let's uh, let's see if I can provide. Because I really think uh, going into his face with a uh, oh, I got an EMP grenade. So. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want my telephone right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's really hard. To, uh, he's a really hard discernible enemy. Um, nope. So, okay. Good thing that I had all, have all these uh, healing items on me. All right, that works uh, surprisingly good. Okay, that was Nick. Uh, well. That's your first training boss, I'd say. Um. All right, there we go. So I guess I should have really uh, cooked up my weapons better here before I uh, went here, but that's okay. Upgrading iconic items. You've just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. I see. All 
ride. So, uh, I think the sniper rifle would have been uh, the go-to thing instead of the, uh, well, the, the shotgun really worked uh, pretty uh, horrible against this guy. Everything else worked uh, pretty well. But, um, considering the amount of healing items I got on myself, it's just okay to, uh, to have a rendezvous with a bullet sponge from time to time to where you can just uh, deplete your um, healing items a bit. I don't mind bullet sponging sometimes. I don't know. A lot of people hate it, but, uh, well, I guess if I would be uh, considerably better at uh, shooter games, I would hate them too. But, uh, well, luckily I'm the uh, average gamer in this uh, department. I'm not particularly good or bad at that. Hi! So I really was hoping that Militech would uh, actually help me a bit with that job, but uh, they just come to pick the cherries. Amazing. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. Nope, not at all. No. I thought I you guys would never come. Great. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. Ah, I see. You tricked me. You screwed me. me on this. Almost got me killed. That was a financial tracer. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works well. now? Ultimately, the corp gets what it wants. Ah, corp books are such that. nice people. Learn it. Maybe a couple years down the line, you'll be standing where I am. I hope I won't. The area. I seriously hope I won't. Alright, Jackie. Let's go. Holy shit, V. Was it sure we'd walk out in one piece? Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh, hey, what's this about? <laughs> you feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Romance! Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. Yeah. And I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know. Some shots. Ahí luego, V. All right, let's have a little phone call. How things huh. looking, Mister V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. <laughs> Boys couldn't have given two shits if you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman. Met with Stout. Managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from mail. It's tempting. One thing but, uh... Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corpo trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. <laughs> virus attacked their systems. Scorched a handful of maelstroms. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Mr. B. We're all set. Okay. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Gotcha. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. P. Oh, fast travel. You can go to fast travel location. All right. So, uh, Kabuki Market. That's really useful. Because, uh... The afterlife is really some somewhere else. Awesome feature. I like it that I get the uh, freedom of choice of uh, traveling um, intensely or just uh, going for a quick loading screen ride. Brain dance technology. Oh, I had a good a good amount of fun with that two episodes ago. So I'm level six now. Wow. So let's check out the journal. So, um, well, I'd say we do the heist and then I'm gonna go off for some, uh, for some side questing. But right now I feel like I wanna, I wanna do this. Role play wise, it makes the most, uh, it also makes a lot of sense to do this. So I want to increase my cool and I want to uh, learn cold blood too, because cold blood is cool. Once you learned a few points there, um, you can uh, massively 
increase your buffs when you're taking down and or get some buffs when you're taking down enemies. Oh, but I gotta check out uh, carrying weight, you know, carrying capacity. So uh, I, I might have looted one thing or two, you know. So let's check out the clothes. Um, plastic mask, gas mask. Oh god, I'm gonna look like a clown when I'm done with this. But, uh, well. You gotta do what you gotta do when you wanna be uh, more tanky. You're gonna look a little bit more crappy. Alright. But promise, once I got enough components and such, we're gonna be uh, a little bit less messy. So, uh, all these guns I'm carrying around with my. With, uh, here, I'm gonna uh, disassemble most of them, but. Uh, I'm gonna do that between the episodes or if necessary um when i'm running out of oh my god <clears throat> when i'm running out of inventory space because i don't want to look like this forever hey jackie i got a new outfit yeah about time holmes what's new with senora wells uh you know she's worried about me whatever Oh, okay. Yourself, you know, checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. Because you are. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah. We have arrived. The major leagues. Does not get any higher, chum. So uh, roleplay wise the only straight answer. Fucking earned it, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna Ready let to those two two box? boys um yeah, come on. I'm gonna let them have some moment of hubris, you know. Because they they deserved it. Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Great. Really, Jackie? What? I told you that myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real? Oh, shit. That must have been ages ago. And who might you clown? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? <sighs> the average Wilson. bouncer experience. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. All right. Way ahead of you, Viejo. So. Wow, this looks a lot different to the uh, last uh, ramshackle bar we were at. Wow. Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Looks like we're up. That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Mm. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> the place belongs to her. What can I get you? Come on, give me a drink, Jackie. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Oh dear. That's uh Somebody did their homework. That's a little bit much of the foreshadowing. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. How long's the afterlife been around? Half a century? Longer. Don't know by how much though. That would be the oldest club in Night City. <laughs> and the most respected. Don't forget that bit. Alright. I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snap it. Mind-blowingly <laughs> spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Great. Uh, what a beautiful tradition. So, then, uh... Well... Let's Tonight drink to City. Night City. I like that place. And the afterlife! 
I somehow live under the impression that we're gonna uh, lose Jackie along this uh, story. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? Mm, oh, well. Sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. I'm pretty sure he's gonna <laughs> die. I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Break a leg. Mr. Deshaun, see Thanks. you now. All right. Then Mr. Deshaun, see us now. I already uh, noticed the bouncer. I really like this about the game that you can uh, see that the environment will soon uh, act on you because uh, it all feels like a uh, living environment. It's really cool. In the ring, do some kind of exotic shit. Kempo, ninjutsu. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. So, gotta say, Jackie has kind of a big lip. That's uh, really a bad habit to provoke the big dogs. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. G. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. There we go. Have your robot. Alright then. Set your butts down comfy. Sweet boot. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's alright with y'all, <laughs> I'd like to start nice with place. a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker. How'd you fare? Well, I'm not gonna, uh... Could, I guess. Walter and I'm not gonna do that on her. From that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. You're Nobu Arasaki. I ain't no snitch. The Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend. So she just wanted to see what's good, or was there something else? Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say as much. I don't know. Sent out mixed signals, so I got mixed feelings. One night sipping champagne with eyes with Yorinobu. Next night chatting it up with regulars at Lizzie's. Worlds don't match up. Exactly. Struck me too. You saying we putting two and two together and getting five? Some part of the equation's missing then. But I'm not gonna snitch on her. That's why y'all gotta fix her. Anyone try to fuck you? They first gotta fuck their way through Dex to Sean's 300 pound ass. Anything else? Hmm. She just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Oh, we get another of uh, these wonderful shards, so let's check it out. Covered the fine deeds. Ops wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. I don't trust Delivery strolls on the beach. Your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Yeah. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. So, um... How do we let's ask all the questions. Yorinobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, why does he have no bodyguards? 
elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24 7. only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside hold on how you want us to get inside a room you can't get into trust me when i say whatever hits you think of t-bug solved it already this is where the flathead comes in you'll have to get him in the ventilation i shaft, see guide him to the dweller and force the dweller to take a break Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Let me see. Anything so, else? So I got to take somebody out first. These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. <laughs> and you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Good to know. Anything else? Transports at Delamy. Primus cab company in all night city. Not a mall. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamy just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI? Yeah, point all right. Style. And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. And I don't if trust an AI to as for my escape vehicle. Here. If things get <laughs> sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The Notel Motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Notel Anything Motel. Else? Great name. Okay. Alright, Dex. Let's speed. go. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? That's real. For fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part of this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours as determined by me. Jack, it's fine. Don't push it. Are you for real? Yes, Drop I'm for real. Escape. Cut's fair. Trust me. Fine. Whatever. Fuck it. Last thing, Kempeki's got a strict no iron policy. Security gates, the works. All right. Save dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part too. Oh, thanks, T. So, All right, stealth mission it is. Why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, my guess. What do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air. You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Mm. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. One thing that's really uh, strange for me to though is that I can't ask anybody how much I'm earning for this job. That weirds me out a bit. It would be the first question on my mind, but I still don't know how much money we'll earn for that. But whatever. Hello. Let's go. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point waiting. So I really like it uh, that we receive a lot of uh, options to um, go into free adventure mode if I want to. So every time there was some uh, major step in the story so far, I always had the option to go free exploring as long as I want to. That's really cool. you leave your problems at the door. Delamain and leave my problems at the door. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh yeah. What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been That's a really scratch. neat, neat ride here. Gotta say. Yeah, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Jeez, what a weird feeling. There we go. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just That's what we heard better. Dex phoning about. What's got you so antsy? Hang on. 
Watch this. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh. Well. oh. Trust me. My car is armed. Without an army of Zaka ninjas if it comes down to it. Okay. What else is included? I'm curious. Comprehensive health coverage, including the handling and disposal of a client's remains should death occur on board. <laughs> Damn. She got that pretty quick. <laughs> Great. Is combat mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. <laughs> Oh, great. While on board, you are entirely within your rights to bear and use me. Dex ain't skimping, is he? He's taking seventy percent of the pot. Or have you forgotten already? Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. <laughs> You're uh, really naive, my friend. You wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there, not yet. These no, eyes in the back mirror really uh, creep me out. Grip yours. Huh? Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. I need you to keep your head clear and in the game. You got a job to do. That's right, Jackie. Last boss fight, you didn't land a hit. <laughs> Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around here. Destination and I ain't going back. All right. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. <laughs> we'll be uh pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And Got static. Say something, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and <laughs> not from necessity. Say what now? <laughs> Aristotle. <laughs> Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? I want more Aristotle. <laughs> Fuck off, both. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay. Check, checks out. Looks like. I already. Uh, Stay in touch. I already enjoy that point in cool I have invested. <laughs> and best of luck. I really I like these extra the answers you get for uh, stat increases. Always fun to have these skidgets. No, huh? no iron. Leave our weapons there because this is a story mission. All right, Harry. Let's go. So, hold on. Let me grab the flathead. Yeah, we look like the average arms dealers, for sure. <laughs> or how do I look like actually right now? Oh, I'm not with my regular gear. That's good because I wouldn't be. Uh, nobody would could take me uh, for real here with my regular armor. We're out front, bug. Remember, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department rep. Papers Welcome are for the flathead. Flat. Don't worry, got this. Alright, this is really beautiful. I really like that flair and the atmosphere Welcome of all these places. Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Sir, care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot onto Compeki Plaza premises? We're arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, you are here to see Taki-san. Am I right? Please, accept my mm. apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, sir. And ah, I get. Take a moment, sir. I need to stand a, a bit for, uh, up front. Go ahead. Alrighty. So. Uh... Yokoso, greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. I wonder if that's human or a robot Just here. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is. 
I think, but she's a. I, I think he's real. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. Creepy. I'll go ahead and notify Pakistan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Pakistan is expecting you. No? Norita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cyber cycle blew himself into bits inside the terminal. <laughs> oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. I like You'll his storytelling capabilities. On level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Hunter's all yours, Harry. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. All right. Cameras. So I learned a skill which should allow me to uh, kill cameras in a large in an AOE uh, way. You should try it. Because uh, with the last fights, those cameras were a problem. Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. <laughs> Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. Wow. This is beautiful. I gotta say. I dig the aesthetics of this place. Unlike my uh, arrogant business partner. The top of the line dolls. Bar don't look too shabby. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Yeah, alright, so the receptionists here ha have golden metallic skins. Gosh. Close this deal. Let's go. I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. No feeding frenzy here. Alright. So, uh, the elevator is a wonderful place to cut this episode, and uh, we're gonna hit the rest of this heist in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm enjoying this like crazy. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I could use some help here because uh, with your help, more people can enjoy the fun. So, whatever you do or don't, I hope you're having a great time, and we'll see each other soon. Bye bye.